Hello everyone, in this video we'll learn how to install Notepad++ on Mac OS. Now this is a follow-up video of a similar video that I made few years ago. It is still pretty popular on my channel, uh, but it is kind of outdated. And so I'm just creating a new updated version of it uh, because few things are changed. And so here is a quick demo. Uh, I'm going to use Play on Mac, a software or an app on Mac OS to install Notepad++. And so here I'm going to open Notepad++ and you can see that it, it's going to look nice and clean. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to add some themes uh, using the, the theme file which is MS style files uh, to, to make it look better. Uh, you can see that all the features are Notepad++ are there uh, with syntax highlighting, settings, preferences and all those things. And so we are also going to learn how we can improve the font aliasing on Mac because sometimes the font doesn't look as nice in Notepad++ on Mac as the other tools. And so let's get started. Now the software that we are going to use to install Notepad++ is called Play on Mac. And we are going to use a version 4.3.4. .4. Uh, and I'm also going to post a, a link in the description of this video so that you can copy and directly download the file. Now in my previous video, uh, which I created a few years ago, I was using 4.3.3 and number of users had complained uh, that it is not working uh, because of the updates in Mac OS and even this software. And so that is the reason why I'm going to give a direct link uh, to this, uh, this version. And so we are going to just simply download this. Now it's just a DMG file, a download or executable file. And so let's go ahead and uh, click Downloads. Right, and it does take a little bit of time to, to download because it's about uh, 100 plus MB. So, so I'm going to pause the video and uh, once it's done, I'm going to continue. So the install uh, or the download is completed and we can open downloads folder and just double click on the DMG file and it will actually open an installation sort of wizard. Now on Mac it is it is very easy to install any application. All you have to do is just drag and drop play on Mac on the application folder which is the one that you can find in Finder. So once you uh, drag and drop it, it should be able to copy that into applications folder. So once it's done, you will see play on Mac uh, sort of icon in the application folder. When you double click on it, uh, it will open. Uh, now one thing you will also notice that uh, your Mac OS may sort of block uh, when you open this for the first time. And the reason is it's not been able to identify the, uh, the software properly. And so you need to go to system preferences, go to securities, and then you will have to allow it one time. Or basically it says uh, that this cannot be copied because you know it was not able to identify the developer. Now, Play on Mac is a pretty safe sort of application, so there's no need to worry. But if you're concerned, then make sure you check it online before you install. Uh, but you will see that it will just add uh, whether you want to open it. Uh, this is just a one-time thing, so once you click open anyway, it won't bother you again. So let's go ahead and click open anyway and it will open play on Mac on Notepad++. It may also give you this warning before opening. And so once we are done with installing play on Mac, we can use that uh, to install Notepad++ on Mac OS. Now, sometimes it does give us an update warning, uh, and so you can update it, or you can leave it as it is. Uh, in my case, I'm using High Sierra my Mac OS, and so I tried to update and it didn't work properly, so I'm I'm just keeping 4.3.4 as it is uh, because I know that it works. But in your case, you can feel free to update, but uh, not sure what would be the outcome. All right, so that's about the installing Play on Mac, and now after this, we will try to install Notepad Plus Plus using that. All right, now that we have installed uh, Play on Mac, we are going to use that to install Notepad Plus Plus. And so click on the install a program and go to developer and we will go to Notepad++ and click install. 
and just the installation wizard will show up so we'll click next by the way play on mac also use a wine bottle bottler uh, that's uh, another application uh, which basically sort of creates a virtual drive on mac uh, for the windows sort of operating system uh, you can search for wine bottler on on google and learn more about it it is a uh, little more information than we need but uh, it's good to know all right so uh, you will go next and then let's wait uh, it says microsoft fonts are not installed so we are going to install that and click next and agree and next and usually it's very fast sometimes it takes a little bit of time to set this thing up uh, now we are going to use a set of file uh, it, it's basically a notepad plus plus executable file or dot exe file I try to install from download a program in which play on Mac automatically install it for you but that didn't work and so I'm going to browse to the set of file that I have already in, uh, downloaded from notepad plus plus website uh, so going to select setup and browse and go to downloads uh, and there should be a notepad plus plus exe now you may not have it of course uh, so uh, you can go to notepad plus plus website i'm going to link the link uh, link for uh, downloads uh, on notepad plus plus website in the description and so you can in, uh, basically download an exc that we need to to actually use for installation and so for me i have that right and so you point that out and click next and it will basically open a application installation wizard just like on windows and so we'll just just quickly go through that so okay click next uh, it's just a typical browser uh, wizard so next 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 and it's almost done so yep it's done we'll uncheck that and then we'll actually open from play on mac okay so that's it now you can see it on play on, play on mac as one of the application windows application and so we are going to click on run and when you open it first time it does take a little bit of time but as you use it it would be faster and so I just click run and it should bring up notepad plus plus on Mac and it should come yep so there you go you can see notepad plus was installed and run on Mac uh, you can see all the all the menus and everything so the next part is to actually beautify this notepad plus plus uh, and we will learn more about it in just a minute all right so now that we have installed notepad plus plus on mac uh, and this is how it looks uh, but if you look at the, the the interface it looks a little bit dated as, as as if it is stuck in windows xp sort of style and so in the next step we are going to uh, apply some theme uh, to it it's called ms style theme and so i'm going to post a link to a particular website which actually has number of themes uh, and those are pretty interesting so let's go ahead and open uh, this website uh, these themes are freely available so you can give it a try and so once you go there there, there, there are numerous themes uh, to your own liking and so you can download the one that you are interested uh, and you can browse through these so some of them are pretty good some of them are okay uh, so we are going to try a theme called Matro I guess uh, and so if you the one that you like you click on the downloads folder and it will download a zip file uh, and in the zip file you will see a number of other files but the one that we are interested in is called ms theme so microsoft sorry ms style which is a microsoft style a file and so let's go ahead and download uh, this particular uh, theme and we'll see how it looks so it's a zip file so if you click on it mac should extract uh, and if you go into that folder you will see uh, an ms styles file right there matro.ms styles okay so we are going to use that uh, in our uh, configuration for notepad plus uh, plus in play on mac and so let's go and uh, open our play on mac and go to uh, configure uh, which is right on the right, uh, left hand sidebar uh, and then uh, sometimes it does take a little bit of time so and go to wine uh, the ta table uh, sorry tab and then click on configure wine and again it may take a little bit of time I actually pause the video sometimes to make it a little faster and go to actually desktop uh, integration 
And so again, here is the option for the theme. And so we are going to click on install theme. And it should actually give us an option to find that theme or browse to that theme. So let's go to downloads folders on our Mac. Uh, where is it? Yep. And oops, sorry, sorry about that. Um, yep. And then look for matro.vs, the, the name of the folder. Yep. And then MS styles. So select that, click OK or open and click. Now actually you will see that there is a, a drop down called Matro theme in the appearance section. And so sometimes they have one theme, they have multiple themes for the same MS styles file. So I'm going to use a, uh, the default settings and maybe I'll use a, a larger font and click apply. And you can see that it already changed the theme of how the Windows application look. Now, not everything looks good. Uh, so you may have to try different themes. And I'm going to mention that a little later, the one that is that works really nice. But let's open Notepad++ and see how it looks. So look at that. I mean, the one where that we started before was pretty archaic. But this looks nice. That has a nice sort of a silver theme to it. Uh, but the one that I'm interested or the one that I have so far liked is called Pacifica. So I'm going to link that in my description. But again, you can check on that website that I'm going to link and pick whatever you like. And so in this case, I'm going to use this uh, theme called Pacifica. Uh, and so again, we go to desktop integration, go to install theme, and we will browse to that folder that I have already downloaded called Pacifica and MS styles and click OK. And we are going to pick that. And then we are, let's keep the font as probably normal for this time and click OK. So there it is. It looks really nice and clean. And you can see the, the more of a silver color that even the Finder window in the background uses. And so it looks like a native uh, app uh, like any other Mac uh, app. And uh, so let's go ahead and actually open one file. We haven't done that. So I'm going to click Open. And I'm going to browse to the desktop of my Mac. And I have some, some Python script and some simple text files. So let's go ahead and open one of them and click OK. And you can see that it is able to open this file and looks nice and clean. And so in the next section, we are going to look at some of the fonts and we'll also try font aliasing. Now this can be a hit and a miss. Uh, sometimes the font aliasing addition looks uh, makes the, the font looks better. Sometimes it doesn't. So it's again an optional uh, sort of uh, step. Uh, but if you want to continue, you can. we will change some registry keys uh, on virtual drive of our Play on Mac. And we'll try different fonts to make it look really nice, just like a Mac. All right? So in order to improve the font aliasing on in Notepad++ on Mac, we will uh, just configure some registry key. And so go to Configure on your Notepad++, go to Wine, and click on Registry Editor. And this may take a little bit of time. And so once it's open, go to uh, H key current user and then control panel and click on a desktop. So there are four different settings for font smoothing, uh, which basically is font smoothing, font smoothing gamma, font smoothing orientation and font smoothing type. And all of these values should be one. And so let's go ahead and make sure that all of these values are one. And so go to font smoothing, double click on it and change it to one value uh, same way with the gamma settings set to be one orientation should also be one and type should also be one right so that's all the changes in registry key so we are going to close uh, registry editor and we'll see the difference now one thing to notice uh, is that as you change this registry key you are not doing anything on your mac os it's just a virtual uh, drive that uh, play on mac has created so in worst case if you think that something went horribly wrong then you can always go ahead and remove your notepad plus plus package or a or a sort of bottle and then uh, reinstall notepad plus plus and so it's almost uh, like a portable uh, package in there so this allows you to add a registry key without any major issues all right so let's go ahead and actually open Notepad++ and see the difference, right? So, okay. So you can see already the fonts are looking much more better. 
uh, it's not as choppy as before. Uh, again, this is more of a personal preference, uh, but I tend to think that this makes the font aliasing look much better, just like other application on Mac. So let's go ahead and change some fonts and also see which font looks the best. So I have tried and tested different ones, and in my experience, uh, PT Mono, which is a, a default, not the default, but a font that is on Mac, it looks really, really good. And so here is a PT Mono font on Notepad++. So that's all about actually installing Notepad++, beautifying Notepad++, and, and, and updating the font settings and font aliasing on uh, in Not Notepad++ on Mac. Now there are certain limitations when you are actually working with Notepad++ Notepad++ on Mac. Uh, one thing is you cannot just simply drag and drop the file from your finder on Notepad++, it doesn't work. And also you cannot set Notepad++ as your default application for say text file or a, a script or anything. Uh, it actually is meant for a quick edit uh, and uh, it's it's not meant to, meant if you are planning to do all your coding exclusive on Mac uh, because uh, this is not a native sort of text editor and so if you plan to you know, fully do the development on Mac, I would suggest that you look more of a native app like Text Edit or Sublime Text or Visual Studio Code or any other one. But this one uh, is mainly when you are pretty familiar with Notepad++ and you also work on Mac and you just don't want to learn a new tool uh, because this is much more familiar. And uh, so in that case, you can install Notepad++ and use it on Mac also. By the way, all your keyboard shortcuts and all the other features should also work. Uh, for example, Control C, Control V. Because this is sort of a Windows environment inside, uh, it actually works that way as well. All right. So I hope you like this video. I know it was a pretty long video, but uh, there are a lot of things we tried. Uh, the best part is once you do it, you just don't have to worry about it, and it it will be there uh, for you. So it's just a one-time thing. And so I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please click on the like button. And if you like the content that I'm creating, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you. Bye.